So when I was out sick the other day, I had you guys watch the videos on polynomials in the textbook, and I asked you to take some notes. I don't know if you took them in your spiral or somewhere else, but these are the notes that I expect to see in your spiral notebook. Go ahead and label this polynomials. This goes with 7-6 in the book. A little bit of vocabulary first. A monomial, it's a number or a variable or a product of numbers and variables. Some examples, seven y, three x squared, negative two y, they could even be decimals. I think of these as single terms. Following up on yesterday, here's a little tip. Exponents are never fractions and monomials. And if you think about it, that makes sense because when we have a fraction as our exponent, we turned it into that root, remember? So it becomes more complex than a monomial. Monomials are pretty simple. Here are some non-examples. Negative exponents are never monomials. And something like 4x minus y is not a monomial. I'm going to move that up so you guys can see a little better. 4x minus y because this is more than one term. <coughs> and monomials are single terms. If mono means one, poly more than one. means more than many one. or more than one. Polynomial means multiple. And they have what we call first and last names. My goal today is to get the notes down and tomorrow you're gonna practice going through and saying what are some names or what are some degrees. Well, like, when you, like, when you the video, so I looked up how to classify them, and do we use, like, binomial or binomial? Uh, We're going to do that right now. So yeah, first, yeah. first names. We have a, three columns in here. We have the degree. We have the name that we call it. And we're going to put some examples. Just 
to give yourself space in this table, we're going to go down to six or more. Knowing that I'm recording this, I'm just going to go ahead and start <coughs> filling this in, and if you need to catch up with it later on YouTube, I will put it in classroom later during, during fourth period. You could pause in your writing and just look up here real quick. A constant would be a degree of zero, and that would be something like the number six. There's no variable or exponent with it. Linear, <clears throat> think of my three x here as the mx in an equation. Linear tells us what our slope is, and it would make a straight line. Put a star out here next to quadratic. We will be spending lots of times with quadratic later. Quadratics have a degree of two. The <coughs> exponent is a two. Notice the exponent here for linear. It's an invisible one. We wouldn't even normally put it there, but it is there. Cubic might be something like 6x to the third power. Quartic is when we have something to the fourth power. Q-U-A-R is also the beginning of quarter, right, which is fourth. If you've taken Spanish, cuatro. It starts with a C in Spanish, but it comes from the same root where we're saying four. Those of you who know Spanish, what's five in Spanish? Okay. I don't know. What is um, 50? See the quin? Uh huh. Quinceanera is 15th, right? So this is when we have something to the fifth power. I took out my science notebook. When we have anything that's six or more, they don't have a special name anymore. We only have a special name really for quadratic, cubic, quartic, and quintic. Anything beyond that, we say it's to the sixth degree or the eighth degree. This would be, one would be to the ninth degree. And this gets back to Delilah's question. What about, do we call them monomials, binomials, trinomials? Yes, we do. Yay. The number of terms that's in it tells us if it is a monomial, binomial, trinomial. This one's a shorter table. We're only going to go up to four. And I actually don't have room here for examples. But they'll be pretty obvious when we get going with these. So my name for one term, as you know from the very top of our page, our first vocabulary today, monomial. is a monomial. monomial. Who's ever ridden the monorail in Seattle? Me. Guess why it's the monorail? Because it only goes one way. It only has one track. It goes back oh. and forth in the same place, right? <laughs> Who's ridden a bicycle? <laughs> They're called bicycles because they have how many two wheels? Three. Two. Bi means two. Binomial. Bi bi People who are bilingual speak how many languages? Two. If they speak three languages, we say they are trilingual. Well, we use the same prefix for trinomials. If you have four 
or more. Polynomial. It's a polynomial. Uh -huh. I thought I did. No, you did. Okay. So you guys are going to find degrees of polynomials tomorrow. And I want to do a couple of examples. And I realize you may not be caught up on my notes, but realize they will be on classroom in a little bit. So let's just turn to the left side. If I have four X to the fourth, Y to the third. To find the degree, we would add these two together. It's degree is seven. But let's also name it. What kind of term is this? It's a monomial. It's just one term. Actually, you know what? Tomorrow I think I'm just going to have you guys practice the naming list. So let's try this example. Yay. X to the third plus x squared minus x plus 2. To name it, you only look at its highest exponent. What's its highest degree? Three. It's got one, two, three, four terms, so it is a cubic polynomial. What if I have the example six? It'll be a, uh, wait, wait. No. Constant. Constant monitor. Yeah, what she said. Can you imagine if we tried to teach that to kindergartners when they were learning their numbers? It's not just six, it's a constant try. monomial. Okay. How about negative three y to the eighth plus eight, right? Plus eighteen y to the fifth plus fourteen y. We'd say eighth degree. Trinomial. Because it has how many terms? One, two, three. Okay, so that's what your practice will be tomorrow, plus a little bit of Khan Academy grade level. Remember your number one goal tomorrow take the things.